Okay, here's the situation today, March the 3rd, Thursday at around 11, 12, 2pm. What, uh, this keyboard has got the, as usual, that's my E note, that's my C, E, C, yeah, let's hope it's E, C. And I've got no inputs plugged into it at the moment. That's the input thing. I'm going to try, instead of powering the Scarlet, right, Scarlet with the output from those kind of Windows XP desktop computers, which I get the feeling maybe something to do with it. I don't know. I'm clueless. What I do notice is that they're pre they're 2006 computers where's that and the Mac that I've got the 2012, 2011 and, and onwards and that might be something maybe there's some sort of mechanical reliance on the kind of hardware that the USB is as, my, as, as a clueless person I'm just trying to reason it out what's going on why the noise because it isn't leads these are fine. I tried these the other day and sorted them with other ones and they were fine. Yeah, so let's give it a try with this one. Left lead into the input. Into the input, that's the system. I'm going to put it onto which is which one is it? Song and then integrated sampling because then you can hear exactly what is inputting through the. I think you can that thing there, AD input, analog digital input. What we do now is get the power onto the Scarlet, right? And this is the key kind of thing to the whole thing. Here lies the, the thing that powers it, which is the USB cable. First I'm going to try just plug it into the laptop which I'm not sure has the driver installed but it doesn't seem to make any difference whether it has the driver installed or not. Sorry, my fingers are there. Put into the first one. Oh well. Seems to be something relating to this hardware. I mean, this is a 2011 computer. These are old computers. That's the only thing I can say that's different. These are 2006, 2000, kind of six. Both of them are 2006, which is about to, um, what, 10 years old now. Whereas this is the only other thing I can think of is to try to see if plugging into a USB port. which may be less into a USB hub may be less clueless I am it's, it's not actually directly in the motherboard so, uh, okay. I think that was just rubber on it I don't think it's very damaging rubber on it it doesn't make some noise because it's quite a hard shell, isn't it? Let's have a look. Goes on here. So 
basically what I'm going to do is instead of instead of using the rear of the computer to plug it into which would have been somewhere where those USBs are I'm going to use this relatively new hub sorry this relatively new hub that I bought the other week Sarah Lion this thing from Maplin you can see it which is well as clueless as I am I'm reasoning it back because it's newer it may be better that's this thing so I'm just going to literally just mount it on top of there see what happens so out of the 2011 laptop because I'm not really going to use it as USB so if it's in there I don't think it's just going to be the power of it really oh. well that's a relatively new thing isn't it you can hear noise again let's try and install something again It's less noise though. I know it's not always work. Okay, so I'm gonna try a few different possibilities about the USB cable situation now. What I have here is a cable that is so far, not that successful with these is to add add the cable without any other USB things in it. I'm going to try different possibilities. First one, I'm going to remove the keyboard dongle, so there's no other USB on it. And I'm going to plug the, the cable from the Scarlet into it and see what happens. So maybe this will be good. And it is better, isn't it? I have to admit, it is better. Apart from the background noise, you can hear this. Just a bit of interference is less interference though, isn't it? So it has improved. So obviously that has something to do with the fact that there's other USB stuff going on. But nevertheless, it's doing some noise. If I pull it out, you can hear a lot of noise disappears. The other thing I can think about is if I try into the USB hub, which is this one here, I'll just plug it on. Even more interesting, I can just have it in the hub without even plugging into the computer because I've got the hub that I've got actually is powered by, by an adapter, by a transform outside, so it's already got power. And that, I've already pulled out everything outside of the hub, of the hub. So if I put that in there, then it's just getting power from the hub itself. And that's even worse, isn't it? So by not having power in the hub, by not having the actual hub connected to the PC, it's even worse. So that's, that's not worked. Let's try that one off. Mm. Next possibility is to plug the hub in so it's actually inside the computer and we need that I just recognise the hub so now I'm going to try plug it into the hub that's already set up and going with the computer and see what the noise comes up as Actually too bad, that's all. Hey, that's not actually too bad. I can't really hear any crackling here. That's very good. So you might have found an answer here. It's possible there's a bit of disturbance, but not much. 
No, I'm not. It's a bit of a saw, isn't it? Let's see if you hear anything. If I pull the lead out, listen to see if you detect. Speaker there. Detect any difference? I didn't hear a lot. This hub might be alright when you haven't got anything plugged in with a soap. Okay, that's the general noise without the hub. Without the, your cross card that's plugged into the hub, now it's going to be in. It's done a very similar thing to the laptop, isn't it? It's behaving a bit like the laptop is. Again, without. Maybe just a bit, but not much. With. There is some. No, it's hardly anything. Again, without. I'm not really seeing a lot of difference here. That's on this thing. However. See which way it's going. The other way. Now I can hear a high pitched noise. Off again. That high pitched noise is gone. So obviously it's disturbing it, isn't it? 